Welcome to the charming town of Brooksville, Florida, where history meets small town charm and natural beauty. Join me on this journey today as I take you through uh, some fun places in Brooksville as well as the historic downtown. So this is a Lazy Maid Creperie. If you want to see what's inside, go check out my blog or Instagram. Next stop is Boyd's Grove. Boyd's Grove is this awesome blend of nostalgia, fun, and there's just so much to do in there. And I'm going to take you through uh, my Boyd's Grove journey. It was quite interesting. I spent about two hours in there. Uh, so let's check it out. So when you first get into uh, Boyd's Grove, you'll see this gift shop area full of shirts, uh, drinks, there's jams, all sorts of uh, Florida souvenirs as well. And uh, you'll see Elvis somewhere around here. And, oh, there he is. And there's the uh, citrus. You can't go wrong with citrus. You'll see a whole area of uh, fruit. And uh, this, this spot was actually new to me. I had only been here once before and this spot wasn't here the last time. Uh, but it's a small like little arcade, uh, tiki area. It's pretty cool. Alright, so let's continue. Let's venture on. And <laughs> I thought this was very Florida, of course. We got kayaks and such. And now we're in the animal area. So they have like this room full of like stuffed animals, but this one's actually real. So when I saw this, I was like, oh, this is pretty cool. He's so cute. I love him. All right, so let's continue. This is where you can see the process of how they used to pack the oranges and such. Um, oh, and they have this dinosaur cave. So if you have kids, this is awesome. Your kids will love this cave. Um, it is man-made, it's not real. It's just, you know, a dinosaur cave. Very cool stuff, I like this area of it. All right, so let's keep moving on. And we're gonna go see some of the animals. So Boyd's Grove also has like a feeding zone for animals. Um, so you can go ahead and feed cute little animals. They have all sorts of animals. So in order to get there, you have to walk long paths. Um, it's such an adventure just going to Boyd's Grove. And here's a turtle, and oh, how cute! They're so cute. I always feel bad seeing animals behind like cages and fences and such. But uh, something that I should mention is that a, a lot of these animals are rescue animals, and uh, you can feed them. They also have healthy, healthier snacks for the animals. Yeah. You'll see some of this on your way to see more animals, of course. And here's a few more. So cute. Okay, so let's go into the aquarium. No, I like I like the aquarium. It's pretty cool seeing the fish. And this is the golf course, the little mini golf. This con it, it continues to the outside. And oh, how cute! He's so adorable. More animals. Right, so that was Boyd's Grove, and I had such a great time. It is nice and sunny. It was raining all day yesterday, so I'm glad that it's nice and sunny out. Um, I really got to enjoy this. Now, uh, Boyd's Grove, you're partially outside and you're partially inside. Uh, there is quite a bit to see, so plan on spending about two to four hours here. Um, I spent about two hours, and that was without playing the mini golf. Uh, so definitely enjoyed my time. And now I'm actually in the car. I'm getting ready to go to the next location. So 
let's see what the next location is. One stop you should make is to Coney Island Drive-In. I did not go because I went last time. Instead, I ended up at Frosty Frank's, which is right next door. And the colors caught my attention, so I really had to go ahead and try them. And let's go inside. This is the inside of Frosty Frank. And um, I actually could not decide what ice cream I wanted to get. They also have Italian ice or just regular ice cream. I ended up going with the Italian ice because it just looks so good and I wanted to try something different. And what makes their Italian ice different is that you can actually add um, other stuff to it like whipped cream and condensed milk. And this is and this is it this is what it looks like with the whipped cream and condensed milk on top of the italian eyes all right so i just went to a new place i didn't even know it was here in brooksville um when i asked how long they've been here uh they've only been here for a, a year so of course i wouldn't have known uh since i'm not always in brooksville i'm gonna go chase some mermaid tails now, if you're wondering what I'm talking about, here in Brooksville, they have something called the Mermaid Trail, the Mermaid Tail Trail, and it is pretty much you're you're looking for mermaid statues around um, different parts of Brooksville. It also goes into like the Hernando County and uh, different cities that are close by to Brooksville. So I will be showing you more of that as well um, if you have any questions just put it down below I know I'm going to probably miss something because you know I'm not a tour guide I don't copy my content from vlogs or anything I just talk as I go <laughs> so it's not something that you know I just generate I'm, I'm not AI guys not AI um, so yeah let's go check it out Okay, so now we're at the visitor center where there is one of the mermaids. Can you see the mermaid? There it is. Um, really great spot to start at. They have the mermaid tail trail map in this area. So if you find yourself in Brooksville, definitely check out the visitor center. They will help you find some of those mermaids and they will provide the map as well. And it's located right next to the park, so you can definitely check out the park as well. Um, it's a pretty neat area. Um, and we're going to go inside, and you can see the mermaid. See, these are the mermaid statues that you'll find all over Brooksville. And here is the map. Isn't this map so cute? Um, the mermaid tail trail, and you can see where each mermaid is located so that's pretty neat there's quite a bit of them to find um i did not find all of them just because i did not have um the time but anyways let's check out my final destination and there is a mermaid there and this is actually uh, the historic downtown area which is pretty neat there's a lot of restaurants cute shops um it is a really awesome place to visit i love coming to the downtown area because of all the cute shops and they have one of my favorite coffee places in this area so yeah that's it until next time see y'all folks